Hello, this is Chris, and I am back with another Star Wars reaction video. Honestly, didn't think we were going to get any more of these at this point. The film is under a month away. Tickets are all booked for midnight screening, opening night, um, and I can't wait. But nonetheless, Star Wars still have some more surprises for us. Yes, the trailers keep coming out for this thing. Now, as well as the one I'm going to be doing a reaction for today, this is Star Wars The Last Jedi Heroes trailer. Um, there was a similar one that came out about two weeks ago called Awake, which was also from the official Star Wars YouTube page. But there's also been a bunch of TV spot trailers that have been coming out recently. Recently. Um, they've been showing some new clips, some new footage here and there, but it really hasn't amounted to all that much. There's been some new, like, post stuff with BB-8 in the X-Wing. I think there's been some insight into Kylo Ren and a few new shots of Rey, which might even be in this trailer that I'm about to do a reaction for now. Um, I did get a little bit of flack last time from someone about it not being a true reaction video. I did actually watch Awake before I did my reaction video. I did state that at the beginning of the video, though. But uh, this time around, this is my first time reaction to this trailer here. Now, it's only 40 seconds, so it kind of will be like another TV spot feel. But uh, it's probably going to give away some more footage, including a bit with Finn, which is where the video is paused right now. I don't want any more stuff spoiled at this point. But I do like doing these reaction videos too much for Star Wars. So with all that being said, we're going to watch this short 40 second trailer now. And I'm going to speculate and talk about it as much as I can afterwards. So I'm going to click play now. Finn! You must have a thousand questions. Where's Ray? Something inside me is awake. I need help. We are the spark that light the fire that will burn the first order down. I was raised to fight. For the first time, I had something to fight for. <laughs> Ready PG-13. Wow, okay, so... There's not really a lot of new footage. Well, actually, I mean, comparatively to, like, how long the video is, there's a lot of new footage in this thing. But in terms of it overall, it's still very cryptic, which is what I like. However, they have given away um, Finn's fate now. We knew that he was obviously going to wake up at some point in this movie. He has a lot to do. We've seen him fighting Captain Phasma. But in terms of the circumstances of him waking up, the only shot that we've seen of him previously in that sort of like medical pod or chamber, uh, whatever you want to call it, is him unconscious. So we didn't know how much of the film he'd be like that. Here we see him, you know, bolt up, waking up right out of it, coming out of his coma. And the first thing that he asked for is Ray. Now, he's very urgent at this point. Is that because she's the last thing he has a memory of? I think it's going to be relating back to where episode seven ended. Spoiler alert for episode seven. Do I still, I still feel like with that movie that came out two years ago, I need to do a spoiler alert for it. Does anyone else have that? I don't know, it's like the whole Han Solo thing, like, it still feels very, like, shrouded in secrecy, despite the movie being out two years. I digress. Um, I think this is just going to be his memory of what happened at the end of episode seven, where he was beaten by Kylo, and he knew that Rey was in peril. So he's going to wake up with memories of that moment, saying, like, where's Rey? And they're going to say, like, she's okay, she's, like, gone off somewhere. Maybe they don't even know where Rey's gone. Um, I don't know if she told anyone. She sort of took the Falcon with Chewie, and R2 and just like flew off to Achto where Luke's at. So I think it's going to be relating to that. I mean, it could be he has some kind of premonition or something in his coma, which I think would be a little corny, even for Star Wars. Um, I know that Anakin kind of had that with dreams, but that kind of worked because he was a troubled character. But I think it's just going to be relating back to that final duel that they had on Starkiller Base. Uh, we have some more bromance with Poe and Finn, which is always good. I do like those two together. Now, I thought he'd be waking up at around the time that the First Order attack that we've seen in the trailer, where we see Captain Phasma with a bunch of troopers, like, flying in and destroying the base. Whether they destroy Poe's X-Wing, I'm unsure. I think they do destroy it. Um, or there's explosions around it, at least. But I think he still does have his X-Wing in this one. There's been some clips released of Poe in his X-Wing doing some awesome stunts and some great one-liners. There's a moment, um, I guess spoiler alert, if you don't want to know anything that's happened in the previous trailers that have come out, like the TV spot ones, there's a moment where Poe goes to Princess Leia and he says, like, permission to blow stuff up and she says permission granted, which is a great, very cheesy line, but a great line nonetheless. Uh, what else do we get in this new trailer? I'm just clicking through it right now. Uh, we get that great line again delivered by Poe. Hopefully Poe has a lot more to do in this one, and I think he will. 
Um, in the first movie, it was originally written where he was going to die within like the first five minutes. He was going to die when they crash landed on Jakku. Um, and then some rewrites last minute wanted to keep the character alive. And I think that's why we didn't get much of him in that film, because maybe it was like a last minute decision. Um, let's have a look. We get some new shots of like X-Wings and the fleet teleporting into space. We've got that big space battle. We've seen that before. I think that'll be the same space battle that we saw Kylo Ren in his new TIE fighter flying from the last trailer that came out. Um, let me just rewatch this bit again here now. Just Finn reiterating that um, he has something to fight for now, which is kind of repeating the same arc that his character went on in the first movie. But oh my god, we get some new battle footage in this of Finn and Captain Phasma, and this looks incredible. This will be the fight that... Regardless if there's any lightsaber fights in this movie, and of course there'll be lightsaber fights in this movie because at this point they can't have a Star Wars movie without one. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this fight more than any lightsaber fight. Like, Kylo Ren could have another duel with Rey. Snoke could have a duel with Rey. Luke Skywalker could have a duel with Snoke or Kylo Ren or all four of them together. But this is the fight that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, I don't think they'll kill Phasma and they're not going to kill Finn. So clearly something's going to happen in this where the fight will stop. Maybe they share the same mother's first name of Martha. Who knows, but this fight's going to end some way. Maybe he'll injure Phasma, but she's not dying at any point now. I think they've realized their mistake where they bigged up Captain Phasma as almost like the Boba Fett. And I guess they were closer to Boba Fett than they probably intended to be because Boba Fett doesn't really get much screen time, but is a fan favorite. Uh, Captain Phasma didn't get much screen time, but hasn't really become a fan favorite, I don't think. She's got a great look, like, the, the character was everywhere in merchandise, and I think all of us were expecting something big for the character, or for her to be more prominent in that first movie than she actually was, and I think that disappointed a lot of people, but I think they've listened to that criticism now, and we're definitely going to get a lot more Phasma in this movie. Uh, we get some other quick little shots at the Battle of Crate, and we also get that very enigmatic shot at the end of Rey holding the lightsaber up, very moody, angry, in the rain. Um, whether she's going to be doing that to Luke, whether she's going to be doing that to Kylo Ren, or maybe this is some kind of vision. I don't know. And that's, that's really what I have to end all of these things with. I don't know. I will know in a few weeks' time. Uh, this is all speculation, though, and this is all part of the Star Wars experience for me. And uh, I also love hearing from you guys and your speculation and your take on the trailer. So that'll do it for my reaction video to Star Wars The Last Jedi Heroes trailer. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Any thoughts, anything I haven't touched on in this trailer or indeed any of the other trailers. Let's just talk some Star Wars because it's always fun talking Star Wars with you guys. Um, also, before I sign off, I'll leave a link in the description to all of the reaction videos that I've done to The Last Jedi so far. So please do check those out if you're new to the channel, if this is the first time you're seeing this. Um, yeah, only a few weeks ago now, guys. So as I said, subscribe, share, comment, spread the word, all that good stuff. And until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.